For the first time in his life, Liu Bei decided to start a war rooted in hatred. Joining his sworn brother in the afterlife, Zhang Fei also passed away. The sworn brothers who had pledged to die at the same time had nearly fulfilled their oath. Meanwhile, Wu, who had betrayed Guan Yu and also killed Zhang Fei, still stood. Liu Bei brushed aside the pleas of Zhuge Liang and his other retainers, determined to launch a large-scale military campaign against Wu. Liu Bei's hatred, sorrow, and malice whipped through the sky above Yiling, signs of the impending storm. This battle would not be for justice, nor virtue, nor for the people. With a heavy heart, a pair of eyes looked upon the army of Shu, which had been transformed by vengeance. It was Zhao Yuan, the brave warrior who had fought so many battles alongside Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. Such vast numbers. The sorrow and anger that our Lord is feeling must be great indeed. But right now, he does not have any sense of perspective. He may resent it and even decide to push me away. But if I don't keep him safe, then I will be dishonoring my great forebearers. Now! I must go to him! to test me in the art of battle. Now is the time to attack. Everybody, it's a battle. My lord, we cannot make contact with several of our officers. And Lord Liu Bei is missing. Thank you for coming to our aid, my lord. We need to regroup, but it will be difficult. Time is of the essence. We must find my lord at once. I shall own the battle. My lord, I have failed you. I cannot find Lord Yu Bei anywhere. Keep it together, man. I will find our Lord. But you need to rescue as many of our people as possible. side of the flames? If we detour to the east, we should be able to get to him. My 
I was most definitely in a spot of trouble back there. Thank you for saving me. I am deeply moved by your performance in battle. I too shall do my best to try and be a powerful warrior. The heavens have answered us. We thank you for coming to our aid. There he is! Our Lord is alive! We must rescue him! This one is heroic! I guess I need to pick up the pace! your respects before you run past me. Another obstacle in the path of justice has fallen before me. How did that happen? But... Travel continues still. Lord Liu Bei has safely made it to Baiji Castle. Lord Zhao Yuan is holding the enemy at bay to the south. We must withdraw the rest of our troops to save <laughs> Strengthen our defenses. We will hold them off and wait for our chance to strike. Lord Liu Bei has gone to war with sorrow and anger in his heart. It was not a wise decision. But Lord Liu Bei knows love, and this is why he is the man to bring happiness to the people. Remain vigilant, my lord.
splendid. I expect nothing less from you. Your prowess rekindles my spirit. Onward to victory! Reinforcements have arrived, led by Ding Feng. The enemy grows in number in the crowd. You are Yin. You must hurry the preparations of your weapon. Yes, my dear. The fire has been extinguished at last. My father will be avenged here and now by my own hand! My lord, the weapon is ready. It is just a prototype, but I hope it will serve its purpose. I call upon the thunder. of the dragon. I know your strength will come to me as well. Necessarily to lose. There is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. Lord 
Wong Swan, are you alright? We will take over from here. Please, retreat. Thank you. Now is the opportune moment. This is for God, Lin. It shall be my pleasure to face you. Now is the opportune moment. I never thought I would encounter you here. Showing how a great strategist can think his way out of this situation. My husband, you have come. Although I have caused you trouble, I am overjoyed. I call upon the thunder. Darling, you are a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms. There is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. We have done enough. My lord, I hope we shall meet again someday. You have judged your retreat well. I see Zhou Yu and Lu Meng have a worthy successor. I only hope I can find one so talented to carry on my legacy. Liu Bei and his army were dealt a crushing defeat at Yiling. Under the protection of Zhao Yuan and Zhuge Liang, Liu Bei safely returned to Baidi Castle. Unable to fulfill his quest for revenge, he soon took ill. Despite his power and authority, he never abandoned his kindness and human decency. He was willing to give his own life if it might ease the people's suffering. The final chapter in the book of this man, who lived with passion and a zest for life, was about to come to a close. Forgive me. I wanted a land of benevolence, like we had talked about. But I allowed my grief to consume me, and it cost men their lives. Your mistakes are due to your benevolence. You have supported me until the very last, my friend. My son, Liu Shan, he must take over when I am gone. But if he proves inadequate, then I want you to lead Shu. But my lord, indeed you are the one who has shown true benevolence until the very end. 
My lord. You must complete the task I have left unfulfilled. Ah, my brothers, my friends. I'm sorry I took so long. Now, we go.